What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to change your cabin air filter on a 2500 and 3500 Chevy Silverados from 2019 to current. This one is a 2020 3500. Uh, if you have a 1500 that's a 2019 or newer, like this body style, uh, pay attention. The steps are going to be a little different for the 1500s, but they might be pretty close. Alright, so pretty easy. All we're going to do is open up the lower glove box. You're then going to pinch the sides in because as you see here, there's a little plastic tab. I'll do that again just so you can see. Both sides pinch in, and then you're just gonna grab, get a good firm hold of it, and kind of pull towards you. Be careful when you drop it down though, as there's this little return kind of strut for it that hooks on this little plastic nub. You don't wanna break that off, so we're just gonna slide that off. And uh, now we can get access to our filter. So here's our filter cover. And there's only one tab on it that you have to undo. You're just gonna push over towards the passenger side and that should flick the back part of it like that over. And then there's this little catch right here, as well as the one on the far side. So what we have to do now is slide the door towards the driver's side of the truck, like so. And then you should be able to pull it on out. And there is your cabin air filter. Should be able to just kind of jam your finger in there to get a hold of it, pinch it from the sides. Pay attention to the direction that the arrow is facing. Uh, arrow is facing down, so that's the direction of the airflow. So when the new filter goes in, that's the way we want to put it in. Here's your GM replacement part number. I'll post a couple different options in the video description if you want to buy your filter online. This one's not dirty. We're just doing this for demonstration purposes pretty much. So we're going to put it right back in. Again, arrow down. Just going to slide it in and then the cover it has these two little fingers right here those are going to have to get slid into the end at the same time that the middle tab gets engaged on here as well so that can be a little tricky but it's not too bad what i do is just get it lined up like this and then we're going to slide it over to the passenger side. There's actually a tab on the top too that I just noticed that's kind of hidden. It's the same as this one right here. So as long as you're pushing a little bit of pressure on this cover while you slide it over to the passenger side, you should be fine. And then just go ahead and push to make sure that this finger locks in. As you can see, we've got it good there. On the glove box, there's just these fingers. So what we're gonna do first, is get this strut lined up. It just pushes on like that. And we will get the lower hooks lined up with these tabs. And you're just gonna push the glove box back on once you get it into place. Like that. And then for these two tabs that we had to push the sides in, you don't need to do anything. You can just do that and they'll force themselves in and you're all done. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. Check me out on Facebook at Tony the Truck Guy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.